Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercrest, and welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man 8 for Sony PlayStation 1. We beat Swordman and Searchman in the last episode, and now we have two more Robot Masters left. We have Astro Man, and we have Aquaman. We are going to take on Astro Man first. And this is going to be an interesting stage to play through. I may have to continue again, but that's alright if that happens. We got these platforms that disappear and reappear. And these guys, you can easily beat them with the Mega Ball. They're these little blobs with one eye. And... If you approach them, they just try to get under you and then try to do this little clap trap thing on you. If I could do this without getting hit by that thing, that would be great too. Anyway, time to get rid of you too. Can I do it this way? Yes, I can. All right. Managed to not get knocked into a pit, so that's great, I guess. And now it's time for the first of these two kinds of sections once we walk onto this big skull on the floor. Obviously, we can't go left at the beginning of either of them, so we have to go right. We need to jump on this red switch and send that up. And I believe... Yeah, that's the only place we can go to for now. We need to start using the Mega Ball to get up here, go right, and then hit this switch. Trying to remember what it is I need to do, because it has been a while, but at least I can still easily remember. I'm going to lower this down for just in case. And now, if I can remember to... Wow, I can apparently jump that way after all. Couldn't do that in the practice run, but for this one time, I could do it. Don't know why. Now this one. Okay, we're back to where we were. Nice to see if we can do that jump, though, but still. I do want to see if we can go even further. We've been here. We don't need to worry about that. We need to lower, we need to lower that red wall, obviously. So we're going to go this way. We're going to slide around. We're going to get this thing up because there's a bolt down there and I do want to get it eventually. But I want to see if there's anything else that I can do here. Okay, there isn't. So... We need to go up here and do some more things. I believe, there we go. Now I know what I need to do. I need to use the Mega Ball to go up here. And then we need to use the Tornado Hold to get up to this ladder. I believe that's what we need to do, and we've done everything right, so we can get this bolt. Now to go over to this little area, and now we're going to be in this area where a tower is sinking in the quicksand, and we need to be very careful, because if we're not, we're going to have a hard time definitely want to get on the platforms when we can, and I couldn't get onto that. That is terrible. And we need to play all this over again. Ready. I'll see you back to where I last was. Ready. 
All right, we are back. And thankfully, we now have two lives for me to do this in. Which is a good thing to have. And I can just do this ahead of time. And we can do this now, which is excellent. Nice little bit of invincibility there. I need that for that goop that that green thing at the ceiling dropped there. And as much as I would like to get those power-ups, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to shoot that with the Mega Buster. And then I'm going to be in my merry way. I don't want to go too far ahead, though. I don't want to do anything dumb. And we want to slide over here immediately, get that bolt, and then get on this skull. Also, that is an orange thing, dropping those little drip droplets of slime there that do get you stuck if you walk into them. They're not green, like the slime itself. They're actually orange. And now we got more of this stuff going on. Platform reappearing and disappearing and whatnot. You want to be very careful. You want to get on solid ground whenever you possibly can. Shooting these, these things down when you can. Really useful thing to do. Definitely want to do that. Took a bit of a hit there, but that's all right. And you can leap all the way up to that platform right there. And you can drop down here to get the bolt. Perfect. Once again, we can't go left. We have to go right. And there's another bolt up there. We are going to follow the path. We're going to take down the Metars as we climb our way down. Once again, we are in a MC Escher-like maze. And as much as I would like... Actually, no. We're going to bring this up. And we, then we're going to bring this down. And then... We... Are going to find a way... To leap up right there. That is not what I wanted to do. That is also not what I wanted to do. Oh, boy. Well, we can do this a little more easily. We don't necessarily have to do that at all. Okay. Get rid of you in case you decide to give me any more problems. And if I could leap off the edge of that, that would be great. And by doing this, I believe we can go elsewhere. And we can end up right here. I do want to hit that. I do want to bring that up. Because if I do, I think I may be able to get the exit set up. And by hitting that, we can get the other bolts. Now it's time to look for that big skull. And there it is. Good thing I hit that last red one. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here right now. Now it's time to equip Homing Sniper and get in this room. Well, I do. Ah. Basically, you want this guy to lower down. Once you do, hit him with Homing Sniper. You don't even need to charge it up. You can charge up Homing Sniper. So you can hit multiple targets at once. But, if Astro Man lowers himself downwards to try to hit you with his satellites, he makes himself easy picking for the single shot. Just jump up and hit him every time he stops flashing and he is done. And we have Astro Crutch, which Mega Man calls Astro Crash here for some reason. That is really weird.
But we now have our seventh Robot Master weapon. Obviously, we're going to be taking on Aquaman last. So that is what we're going to do. And this is going to be a pretty interesting stage, as you will soon see. I should really put the music in this for this stage in the description, by the way. So when you're in the water, you can swim just by repeatedly tapping the jump button. By holding up, you should be able to jump out, the, jump out, and above the surface. And you do need to realize that you can be fairly fast while swimming, and that you can swim and jump and shoot at the same time, which is really good. Now we've already seen the squid robots. You can easily shoot those down. The clam robots have to be open for you to shoot them down. And of course, there's the mollusks. They'll be in an underwater environment this time around, but they're just like the intro stage. You also have currents. You want to watch out near currents. You want to also want to make sure that the clam robots do not hit you with their bubbles. And when you're in a place like this, you want to make sure that you can get the squid out of your way. And you tap the X button or circle button or whatever button you have assigned to jump rhythmically. So that way you kind of stay in a certain altitude. So that way you don't run into the spikes and instantly kill yourself. It's a good thing I have the laser. It makes quick work of the mollusks. And now we're going to face our first mini boss. This mini boss will have our last rush ability, and I want to make sure that I take it down. This thing has two attacks, besides running into you. It can punch the logs that you're standing on, and you can also drop a ball from above, which can also destroy the platforms that you're standing on from above. I really need to know when to jump. And I really need to utilize the charge laser a little better. That would help. I think. I also need to watch how much health or how little health I have in this rate. I'm definitely down to below half at this point. Uh, I thought I could slide under that, but, well, we got him. And once you destroy this mini boss, you'll find out there is a bomb to this waterfall after all, and you'll get Rush Heal. Rush Heal, when used, causes Rush to fly out and drop health and weapons replenishments everywhere. So now, we're in the second half of this area. Ow. And we need to use our good old Astro Crest that we just got to break this ceiling. By doing this, we can get a bolt and we can refill Astro Crest, which has only four uses. So you do want to be careful. Astro Crush is an attack that Astro Man does have. And when used, it will hit everything on screen. It is a very nasty fireball. Yours is a better screen clearing version than Astro Ver Man's version is, however. And this is in the way. But if we blow this away, when we blow this upwards with Tornado Hold, and then slide this way, we have some health to pick up and a bolt. Oof. Now, if you didn't break that ceiling. You can only go to the top. You can't go over here at all. But if you did break that ceiling, you can. Now 
Now... Nice. Now, this area will take you'll take you a bit of a to a bit of a shortcut to where we're about to go. It's this little drop-off area. You want to stay to the left here, so that way you can get a bolt. want to stay as far to the left as you can and down here no nope, it's not down there it's down here where you will find the bolt for this section didn't know if you could see it but it is there you could probably barely see it but I remembered where it was and here we are at the end of this section the top part would have taken you over here. Unless you destroyed that ceiling with Astro Crash or Astro Crush, you wouldn't have been able to get over up there at all, and you would have missed out on the bolt. Actually, two. And now we have this area where we're doing some more swimming. It would be nice if the Metar would get out of the way. There we are. And I'm just going to go this way. I'm going to charge this up. Sniper Joe's going to drop down. There we go. And we're going to equip the Astro Crush. Because that is Aquaman's weakness. Sure. So Aquaman will, loop, will leap around. He has a water balloon that he will shoot upwards into the air. He has that attack. You definitely don't want to be where it is. And he also has the water cannon. Wait, watch for where it turns. Because where it turns, you want to stand in front of that. And that's where you want to keep shooting him. If he does that high jump... That's when he'll do that attack where he causes water to come out from underneath. And Astro Crush does a really good job at weakening Aquaman. Because it stuns him for a little bit and you can hit him with some lasers. And we have the water balloon. Unlike Aquaman's version where he just shot it further and further upwards, decreasing the distance every time he shot one, you shoot yours straight forward. If you have it equipped, you can just keep tapping between square and triangle. You can just keep quickly alternating between the two buttons and you can do like a super rapid fire shot, which is pretty interesting. I don't know if I'll ever show that off. There's no real reason for me to do it. But it is there. And we now have 31 bolts collected in total. And we have all of the Robot Master weapons. And we have Dr. Wily's stage completely unlocked. Well, I wouldn't say completely. We can only play the first stage, even if we do save. And if we do save the game, I should say. If you save, turn the game off, and continue, you go back to the first part of it. You go back to the first stage. I don't really like the first stage all that much. The further parts are a little better. But, while we could go to Dr. Wily's stage, there, there are still a few bolts that I have missed. And I'm going to get to work finding those in the next video. Join me next time where we go bolt hunting. Until then, this is Prince Watercrass. Take care, stay safe, and thanks for watching!